around so you don't pass out and fall and give yourself a concussion. Uh, <coughs> oh, I got you. Anything in the way? No, we don't. Okay. All right. Oh, God, don't let It was a hit and run. I got him, though. I got him. Is it tight? Yeah. It's supposed to be. All right. All right, you good? It's not squirting anymore. <coughs> okay. All right, let's get you stood up. It's going to feel a little awkward. We're going to get you to the hospital. We're going to get you some head. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Break. Okay, here we go. So let's take this off. Yes, please. <laughs> So, hey guys, welcome to ProTech. Steven and Courtney here, and today we're going to talk about our low profile tourniquet holder. Isn't that nice? And that's what I used to deploy this tourniquet with here on the video today. <clears throat> and the low profile tourniquet holder is something that we came up with in the training academy. Those are some nice hats you got there. Are those our new operator hats? These are. Oh, those are sweet. Clean. Are they like Cryptek, Typhon Black, and with the Q3 technology on the inside so it's nice and cool? Oh, they are. That's nice. It's yes. nice. Cool. Can you get one of those on our apparel, on the apparel page of our website? Yes, you can. Oh, that's nice. Man, that looks kind of like mine. That's yeah. really cool. I like that. Anyways, so the low profile tourniquet holder is a way to wear a tourniquet on your belt, um, on your duty belt, um, on your, your, your kit using a molly lock clip and it's a very simplistic uh, and comfortable, believe it or not, way to carry a tourniquet and let me see, let me dress this one up really quick so I can kind of show you, it usually take a little more time to dress it up properly, but it goes on the belt right like this and it's got a little tab underneath it that so here's what it looks like under the shirt I've got an H mag on here too that's our horizontal magazine pouch that we make um, but anyways I can grab it with one hand pulling the tab up releasing it and grabbing the tourniquet or I can grab it with two hands uh, but anyways, we bifold them and put them on there. This one, I've been wearing it for about, believe it or not, almost three years. Uh, Catherine from the training academy, she and I and the rest of the academy and our instructing staff, we all kind of put our heads together and, uh, and developed this together. And um, it's just a wonderful way to carry a tourniquet. Here's what it looks like brand new. And we used hook and loop, hook and loop fabric. It's uh, mold and mildew and UV resistant. And then we uh, stitch a polypropylene um, tab to it to give you a little bit of a pull tab. And it's very simple. It just goes behind the belt. Like that. You can loosen the belt up. This new one's, this new one's a lot stiffer than the old one I've been wearing for years. Take your tourniquet. And you can carry, I mean, you can set it up any way you want, but I like to do the, uh, the accordion method because you never know if you're, what, what appendage you're going to be putting it around. And uh, I found it a little faster through repetition to, uh, to use this method to stow it uh, versus having it pre-looped, uh, but that's just personal preference. And that's how you carry it. And then to get to it, you just, there it is, really fast. And what I like about it is, do you have your belt on? Yeah. Let's see here. Loosen that up just a little bit. Come on in here, cameraman. You can get close up. Hold that, please. Velcro's fighting me. What I like about it is when we put it on, have you ever worn one of these, Miss Courtney? No, I have not. Okay. Isn't that nice? That's nice. When we put it on, go ahead and put your shirt over it. Yeah, you cinch your belt up. And bend forward at the waist and, and tell us 
How's that feel? It's like it's not there. Well, almost like the H mag. Yeah. You can't really tell yeah, you can't it's there. Tell it's there at all. That's awesome. So yeah, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. We can take and add this to a kit in Molly Lock, uh, like a Molly Web kit, simply by taking a Molly Lock clip and threading it through. Right like that. We thread that through there. Loosen this up a little bit. Give us a little bit more space. Let's see here. Then you can do it however you want. Like so. Thread it down through your molly webbing and boom, there you've mounted it to your kit. And you can mount them anywhere uh, or horizontally on your belt as we've demonstrated today. You can also, you can also just wrap it up and Toss it in your bag like that or stow it in a cargo pocket. I like having it on the outside though because then there's a possibility if you get shot and you're unconscious and it's visible there on your waistline and there's a possibility your buddy might see that and say, oh, they've got a tourniquet right there. I'll go ahead and use it on them. And, uh, but it's just a nice way to carry a tourniquet in your everyday carry get up. And you'll see in some of the older videos, you'll see me with my old one. Uh, on uh, like that EDC pocket dump video and some of the other ones uh, but this is the official release video Catherine and I made one of these videos over over a year ago maybe close to two years ago uh, meaning to release it and we've just been so busy that we haven't released it yet and that's totally my fault but uh, you can order one of these from our website today at protechcustomgear.com so if you're in need of a low profile comfortable tourniquet holder that's easy on the wallet, check us out. Stay safe, guys, and we'll see you next time.